Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today in Canada to discover something I've never seen before. A secret underground lair currently with the lift emerging from the driveway behind me. Now the car collection we're about to visit features the likes of a McLaren P1 from MSO, a Porsche 918 Spyder Visac package and a few more. But what is the most spectacular is the way that this works. We're on a private home driveway with a garage hidden away within the Solus 675 LT Spider arising behind us from one of the two car lifts that go down towards the garage itself. That is not all though. Let's head in and go and take a look. The most amazing thing is how the lift lowers down in towards the garage, not just one, but in fact, a second that I'm currently standing on as well to take the cars in towards their home, leaving it completely hidden away from up above. The same finish over the top, but we'll go and have a better look at both the 675 LT and the other cars, 10 or so cars, all of which are totally immaculate and lovely examples as we head in towards the garage. I have to say, I have never heard a lift as quiet as this coming down with that car, but that's not all. In the first part here, have a look at this view. The way this garage is presented and the cars that are there. Plus, it actually continues to another very special area, which we are going to be checking out in a moment. But before we do, look at this. This is unbelievably amazing to see the way the car is lowered in. One of the 500 675 LT Spiders. This car in the Solis, which was actually the launch color scheme with the launch wheels, the multi-spoke wheels. Obviously, I have a 675 LT Spider at home. This car took part in the road to the Canadian Grand Prix in Montreal earlier this year. But that's quite the spectacular entry to a garage, a garage which in the way it's presented with the tiled floors, the glass finishes, the lighting, the spotlights, the strip lights, this is a magnificent place. Now, of course, we need to talk cars. We're standing here in front of a Porsche 918 Spyder, a Visac package 918 Spyder, which means obviously the full carbon wing, the carbon blades around the side. You've got the carbon Targa roof panels and the carbon A pillars amongst others. One of 918 cars in total that Porsche made of the 918 Spyder, their hybrid hypercar. And there's also the predecessor we're gonna be seeing in a moment. We've got the specific magnesium wheels as well, the center lock wheels, the acid yellow calipers that you have on the 918. You've got the blue center locks on this side, the red over on the other side. The next to it is one of the other cars from that holy trinity of, well, eight or so years ago now, the McLaren P1, one of 375, 3.8 liter twin turbo V8. But there's actually something I'd really like to show you about this particular car. A detail on this specific car, which if I open it up quickly, I'm gonna pop open the bonnet to come and show you something. Carefully close down the doors. To open the bonnet on here, you press the button just on the inside, lift this up, where underneath we have a signature, protected in fact, from Jensen Button, who's also signed up here, of course, former F1 world champion, and of course, also a McLaren Formula One driver carefully close that back because we're going to head through now to come and visit the other side because everything about this space is just unbelievable to have the cars brought to this underground area brought down under the driveway but that's far from everything it's quite hard really to explain what you're about to see as we step through here as we walk up into the clubhouse, where inside here, we are lost in a maze of mirrors of glass and of supercars. 458 Speciale Aperta, sitting beneath a Porsche GT2 RS. We've got the Ferrari 430 Scuderia 16M. Over towards this side, we've got the McLaren 675 LT Spider Carbon Series. We've got the Porsche Carrera GT. We've got the Lamborghini Aventador SV Roadster, and above it, the Porsche 911R. Now, not only that, because if we head up this glass staircase, and I can't quite believe we have the special opportunity to be here 
and to take a look at it. This garage is unlike any I have ever seen before. This is absolute home garage perfection. These walkways with the glass looking down through towards the cars, across between the lifts to see each of the cars, it could not get any more special. And in fact, to talk about the cars, to run through them quickly, Porsche 911R, one of 991 cars that Porsche made as a 918 Spider customer, especially here in North America, it meant you could get the allocation for these, obviously based on the 991.1 GT3 RS with the manual gearbox, lightweight flywheel, distinct stripes. There are a few options available, but in this case, the white car with the green stripes over the top. Lightweight cars, you could actually opt to have it without the air conditioning or the infotainment inside as well. Opposite it, we have the 675 LT Spider Carbon Series, carbon series because the full body is an exposed carbon fiber. On this particular example, we've got all the yellow details you can spot inside, the air conditioning vents, 12 o'clock stripe, etc. But based obviously on the original 675 LT, but for the Spider only for the carbon series, like they made the MSO HS of the coupe, but with all of the MSO upgrades as well, like the louvres, those cutout louvres that you can see, and here with the yellow logos and details, calipers, everything matching and linking in in the gloss carbon fiber. On this side, this particular GT2 RS is in birch green, looks glorious. It's a Visac package car, so you get the carbon bonnet with that painted stripe down the middle. We've got the bronze gold wheels on it with the yellow carbon ceramic calipers. We've got the contrast of all of that carbon against the bright green. And even actually, just to show you back here quickly, you can see through the rear window at the matching painted cage inside that car, which is just awesome. I mean, this is a totally different perspective on cars to be looking down at the lifts, obviously where they are positioned inside here as we head around and just explore. Now, if we go back downstairs for a moment, carefully does it, looking down, this is quite trippy. I'm not gonna lie, looking through the glass as we make our way back down towards, I'm not sure what to call it, the garage floor. There are so many different levels to all of this across multiple different floors, but it's also about the lighting in here, just the way the lights are directed straight towards the cars. The 430 Scuderia, the 16M, 16M to celebrate Ferrari's 16th Formula One World Championship, limited to only 499 cars in total, based on the 430 Spider, sorry, 430 Scuderia, which itself was based on the F430 Coupe, obviously this being based on the Spider of the F430. Next to it though, is a 458 Speciale A, A for Aperta, the Italian word for open, again limited to 499. Seems to be a recurring theme for the limited edition Ferrari V8 convertible supercars. But I want to draw attention to the spec of this. The paint color is Giallo Triplo Strato, which is a glorious multi-layer pearlescent yellow with the not blue and white stripes. But also, I particularly like the way they did this. All of the carbon fiber, for example, here on the quarter light behind the windows, and then down here as well, for the blades is all in this blue tinted carbon, which contrasts so well with the yellow paint, linking with those blue stripes, linking with the blue that you can opt inside, linking with the blue calipers as well to create that yellow and blue theme, kind of the inverse of my SF90, which is blue electrico with yellow shields and yellow brake calipers and yellow accents. Now you can opt also for the louvres in a painted color if you'd like, that's another option available for the Speciale. But if we come through here, the fun continues. One of the greatest cars known to mankind, the Porsche Carrera GT. Just over a thousand of them made in total, naturally aspirated V10, manual gearbox, ultimate driver's car, complete icon. Certainly my favorite Porsche of all time, if not one of my favorite cars of all time as well. And next to it, something a little bit more brutal, we could say, the V12 equipped 6.5 liter naturally aspirated V12 Lamborghini Aventador SV Roadster. 
probably one of the rarest versions of the Aventador because they only made 600 coupes and then 500 of the Roadsters in total, as opposed to the SVJs of which they made 900 coupes and 800 Roadsters. There's actually a plaque over on the other side that says that it's one of 600, but you've got the carbon Targa roof panels, which stir away in the front, just as you can actually with the CGT. You can take off those Targa roof panels and tuck those away in the front to enjoy to the most the open driving experience. But to stand here, I mean, standing around car lifts is always amazingly cool, just to see a different perspective on cars because you so rarely look at them from underneath, to just see things differently, but to know that they were also surrounding us with these walkways and the lights and the glass and the shapes of everything and the staircases and the fact that it all begins with the cars going down the lifts from outside in towards the garage. I've really never seen anything like it. This is one of the coolest garages I have ever visited in my life. It's one of those where you're just looking around in awe at the whole setup and the ideas and the creative flow and what went into coming up with the plan to build this. Back in towards the main part of the garage and I, I don't really know how to put it into words. When you see a space like this, obviously the lighting in here is so fabulous and colors like this just look unreal. That was a particularly controversial color when McLaren introduced the car. Of course, prior to this point, pretty much every new McLaren was coming out in a different shade of orange. So they showed this soulless golden yellowy green color as the launch color for the 675 LT Spider. And there aren't all that many of them that were specced in that shade. And talking colors, this is actually Grigio Telesto. I believe it's the only Porsche 918 Spider in the entire world painted in this color, which is something quite special considering there are almost a thousand of them in total. But just to see these cars under the lights, the P1 down in race mode, the 918 with the carbon spoiler elevated as well. It's unbelievable. This is a very, very special garage here in Canada. I've not seen many things quite like this. Two lifts that rise up from the driveway. These two lifts, you could technically have cars on top and picture these up into the air up at the raised position with cars above them and two within, and obviously use them for lowering the cars down here into the underground lair. I don't know how better to call it, the secret underground lair that we've come to visit here on this tour. It's just mega. It's just absolutely mega. This feeling of light, of bright, of the colors shining through, and the way you have these, I suppose, technically three different areas, upstairs, here, and into the house adjacent as well. What an opportunity. It is a huge, huge thanks to the owners of these fabulous cars and of this fabulous, fabulous garage for the opportunity to come and take a look, to share it with you, and to see this all in operation. Because this is the kind of thing that, for car people, really gets your hearts racing. This is quite unusual but quite spectacular in the way it does it. For now though, that is all. Thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I appreciate your support an awful lot and I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.